You're a man now. I don't even know your name. Come in. Those baby booties. Our sons. Your father be so wretched to us. How can he be such a such a monster? Not only does he steal our son away from us, but he enjoys torturing us about it. Constantly taunting us with his secret information about our son's identity. People mean nothing to him, he's heartless. And what I find hardest to understand is that he seems to get his greatest enjoyment from destroying the lives of the people he should really love, people like Sheridan or me or even Ivy, who he seemed to like once upon a time. Do you know, I think he did something to my mother as well. He goes ballistic every time he hears the name Catherine. I, I used to think it's because he missed her. I felt guilt over her death, but now I think there's a... There's a deeper hidden reason, something, something truly evil. You know you shouldn't be here. I know you said you didn't want to see me again. But I love you so much. But you know it's for the best. We have to stay away from each other. I'm sorry, Julian. But you know, we're not kids, you know? We know that our actions have consequences. And look at what our affair has done to the people that we love. And it's gonna get even worse if... when... the truth comes out. Oh, hush now. Oh, God, my family such a shamble. Simone barely comes out of her room. Whitney actively hates me. Thinks we're having an affair now. <laughs> My, but those chickens have come home to roost. After 25 years. Stop beating yourself up about this. No offense, Julian. But this sharing and caring Julian is relatively new. I know that you wish that you could just wave a magic wand and make everything and all the old hurts just disappear, but it doesn't work that way. And I thought that I had paid for my mistakes. So I built a whole new life for myself. I thought it was near perfect. And now come to find out I built the whole thing on sand. <laughs> None of this is your fault. I did this to you. No. No. I may have been young, but I knew what I was doing. I had choices. I chose to be with you. And I chose the drinking. And I chose the drugs. But not anymore. We're just... We're just not good together, Julia. I understand. Do you? Yes, I'll respect your wishes. But I made a promise to you, and even if we never see each other again, I intend to keep that promise. I will not let Father win this time. I'm going to find us. When I came in earlier, you were you were quite upset. What was it? Oh, Kay Bennett. She had a horrible accident in the woods last night. We had to rush her into surgery. It was 
difficult and there were complications. And now she can't have any more children. And she's so young. Thank God she has the, the one child with young Miguel. Maria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God, I remember what drama there was when Kay ruined Charity and Miguel's wedding by announcing during the ceremony that she was pregnant. God, I thought Sam was going to kill Miguel. And at the time, it seemed like the worst possible thing that could happen. And then it turns out now to be a blessing, because if it wasn't for Maria, Kay would never have any children of her own. <sighs> Babies are just so precious. You know, bringing new life into the world is just the most joyous, amazing experience that a woman can have. And losing a child or losing the chance to have a child is just more than devastating. Gwen. Yes, and Sheridan. Oh, that poor thing. I thought she would just go mad with grief when her child drowned. And that's what you feel. Oh, yes. Every day. Each and every day. Why does love have to be so painful? You're asking me. <laughs> Lately, I've discovered I, I don't know that much about anything, and love's <clears throat> love is such a hard one. I, you know, when Father forced me to give you up, I shut down somehow. I, I blocked any chance of love or any emotion that might hurt. Didn't you ever love Ivy? They speak of the devil. I ran into her earlier on the wharf. Believe it or not, we were honest with each other for perhaps the first time. Uh, our marriage was over 25 years of open warfare. We bred and warped three of our own children. We, if we had been honest with each other just once during all those years of resentment, sniping, and gunfire, we might have realized how how like we were, that we were both suffering from the loss of our true loves, me for you, Ivy for Sam. God, what a waste. We could have been a comfort to each other during those years. Instead, we took a brutal divorce worthy of the Giulianis to allow us to be friends. Uh, Julian, I would take any friendship with Ivy one second at a time. Don't blame yourself for everything. I'm sure that she was a willing participant in every hellish day that you spent. Well, perhaps, but at least she stuck to her bargain. Uh, I didn't honor my marriage vows from day one, and I, Ivy deserved better. <laughs> she was lovely back then. She was bright and warm and witty, and... until she married me, and then the Crane curse did its work. Well, but at least she's found love and happiness with Sam, finally. Better late than never. But I guess there's a bit of trouble in paradise. She wasn't specific, but she said she was worried that someone was going to... to bring her down, rob her of this newfound love and happiness. I assume it's father again. No, Julian, it, it isn't Alistair. Well, however would you know? Because it's me. How could you be the one to tear Ivy down? Well, not me directly. It all has to do with Liz. See, Ivy and I have had some dealings in the past, and when Liz exposes my secrets, then Ivy's are bound to come out as well. And poof, there goes Sam. But uh, I don't understand. What, what have you and Ivy done? Ivy has ha had me help her do things, things I'm not proud of, but she didn't leave me any choice, and I had to protect my family. 
So she blackmailed you? Let's just say that Ivy knew how much I needed to keep my past with you a secret. Oh, it caused you even more pain than I knew. See, that's what I meant. Our love, our big secret. It's caused so many people so much pain. TC, my daughters, your children, Teresa and her family, our lost boy. I even betrayed my best friend, drove her off. Well, Liz is close. At any moment now, she's going to hit the revenge jackpot. And when she does, She'll expose my secrets and your secrets and our past. And then I will have lost everything. I'll have nothing left. If that happens, you'll have me, you'll always have. You know, I wouldn't worry so much about Liz. I might take a step back. How can you say that? Well, if you're right and there's nothing you can do to stop her from exposing your past, why not just accept the inevitable? Because I'll lose everything. I don't think so. I... I... Don't sell T.C. short. I believe that his love for you will make it through whatever your sister dishes out. Yeah, but his temper... Well, it'll be... He'll be hurt, he'll be angry, but if we know anything, we know how powerful love is, and the love that you and T.C. have is so strong. It will endure. God, I hope you're right. If I wasn't so sure, I'd, I'd try to have you for myself. But I know how important your marriage and your family are. Yes, they're, they're everything. I can't lose them. I know. So let Liz bring it on. I won't let you suffer through this alone. Thank you, Julian. God, you have changed so much lately. You remind me of this guy that I used to be in love with years ago, before... Before Father destroyed our lives? Yes, well, that's over. I'm going to him now. And no matter what I have to do, I'm going to find out exactly what he knows about our son. Well, Julian, be careful. Now, you know better than anyone how dangerous he can be. Fear of his wrath has stopped me from grabbing a hold of anything that might give my life meaning. But no more, I will not live in fear again. I promised you I would find our son. I'm going to find him. Not even the great and powerful Alistair Crane is going to stop me from doing it. 